New information by the Texas Rangers is renewing interest in a missing persons case in Midland that dates back to 2018. Tyler Dupnick joins us tonight in the studio with the latest. Tyler. That's right, Crystal. Texas DPS is again asking for the public's help in finding Caitlin Dennison. She was 19 when she disappeared. Over six and a half years later, the search continues. We're asking today for the public to look at this again and see if this new information helps them to remember some details or any, any information that they may have uh, to help bring closure to this case and have answers and hopefully find uh, Caitlin Dennison. Caitlin Dennison is from Reno, Nevada. She traveled to Midland from Reno on January 9th, 2018 with a man known to have worked as a truck driver in the oil field industry. DPS says his identity is being withheld for the investigation. They hope his work connections will help solve the case, says Texas DPS Sergeant Stephen Blanco. Uh, he still has associates, friends, contacts in the Permian Basin. Um, they may know some information. It's believed they possibly do know some information and that the public could have some information that could help break this case loose for the, uh, for the investigators and help solve this case and provide the answers that are needed. It is believed Dennison stayed in the man's RV that looked like this stock picture based on the investigation description, which may have been parked in West Odessa. The next day, the RV was moved to the location of the yellow pen here, south of I-20 and Loop 250. That same day, Dennison told family and friends she was at the Walmart on North Midland Drive with the man and that she was afraid for her life. Here are some features of her last appearance. It is believed they went to Domino's, Pizza, and Odessa on Linda Avenue and then Rick's Cabaret to try and get a job. That was the last day Dennison spoke to her family and friends. Now this Ford F-250 is the actual vehicle Dennison was last known to be in. She has blue eyes and blonde hair and her height is about 5'5". She also has piercings on her nose, lip, tongue, and ears. With investigative efforts renewing interest, there's hope. The investigators, Texas Department of Public Safety, Midland Police Department is hoping for the best in this also. And to bring answers to the family, first off, right. to bring answers to the community, and to bring closure to this case, wherever that may be. Now, if you know anything about Denison's disappearance, you were asked to contact the Texas Rangers, Midland Police Department, or Crime Stoppers.